Hey everyone, Matron here, bringing you a live commentary between Close spawning as the orange Zerg player, and his opponent will be Mistborn spawning as the green Protoss. I actually got this game, I was in the new chat channel in one of the Reddit chat channels, and wanted to try to observe a game, a 1v1, and do a live commentary while the two players are playing. Just uh, something new, usually I cast off of replays, but with the chat channel and just the kind of the Reddit community, want to get a little bit more involved and maybe give these two players a little bit of a showcase here. Closed is a Masters League Zerg, so we see him spawning on the southeast position of Shakuras Plateau, and then Mistborn is a mid-diamond Protoss player, so Masters League uh, perhaps a little bit higher. We'll see how Mistborn's able to deal with that. Closed making the point that Mistborn does have a lot more games played, so We'll see how it goes, and again, on Shakuras Plateau, a map which was just fixed, uh, actually I'm not sure if they fixed it in this recent patch, the hidden pylon here, which you can use to warp in units and basically disappear units, very interesting. Looks like Mistborn going to be going for some sort of fast expand perhaps with this pylon down by the, uh, the natural and sending out an early scout on this four player map. Close sending his overlord into the southwest position so he will soon see where Mistborn is, and also sending out a very early scout for drone or for the uh, Zerg player, even before he puts down any sort of pool or hatchery. And he might just want to see the positions if they are on very far corner positions. He may b be more liable to go for a fast expand if they are on the close positions like they are along the southern route and with the destructible rocks in between. Uh, he may be going for a pool first, so we'll see as he does go to the uh, northwest corner, he is going to see that there is no protest there, and we'll see what building he decides to put down. He is still uh, saving up minerals, it looks like, and perhaps now going for a fast expansion. So we do see a forge coming from Mistborn, and let's check out that probe as he makes his way over into the base of the Zerg player. And he's going to be seeing this hatchery go down momentarily. 300 minerals about to hit. And he might be able to get a block here if he can get a pylon down. And Oh yes, he does block that hatchery. So closed up, uh, bemoaning that fact. But Mistborn moves the probe a little bit too far there. And wow, so that hatchery will go down. But Mistborn does have the uh, forge finished. So he can put down a pylon and perhaps force Close to cancel this hatchery. Close still no spawning pool yet. So just droning up, throw up the production tab just has nothing but that hatchery coming and now we'll see what Mistborn chooses to do with this probe looks like he's gonna uh, dive into the base of his opponent maybe check the pool timing pool just now going up about a quarter of the way complete and Mistborn going for a forge first uh, no cannons yet and getting down a fast nexus as well so needs to use a little bit of that chrono boost on the nexus get out a few more probes hoping to keep pace with the Zerg economy, and I really think that the uh, he's going to be able to do it as both of the, the Nexus and the Hatchery pretty close together. The Hatchery will finish about 25 units a time faster, and now Close perhaps going to be patrolling that drone, trying to prevent any sort of pylon uh, wall off. It does now take three pylons to, or at least three buildings, to block a ramp completely. They did patch most of the maps so that that is the case now. We do see the spawning pool come up. Closed a little bit late on the gas, so we will not be able to get speed out quite yet. And it looks like he has a queen, uh, two queens on the way for these hatcheries, so hoping to macro up. Meanwhile, back in the Protoss base, his nexus is about to complete. He did get up one cannon, and really perhaps needs to add another pylon to this front wall to make it a little bit more sturdy. If this pylon goes down, both of the cannons will go down as well, or be depowered. He's got all of his eggs on that one pylon right now. And now just chrono boosting like a madman off of both these nexus so you'll soon be able to uh, rocket ahead you would think economically we have 23 harvesters to 20 harvesters but again close is going to have to make a choice between drones and units at this point but he has seen that forge he has an overlord in the back of mistborn's base so he's going to be able to poke in here see that mistborn does not have any units on the field right now just the harvesters and both players macroing up uh, like madmen at this point and again, on a four-player map like Shakuras, we often see this being the case, especially when you see your opponent open up Forge first or Hatch first, you know that they will not be able to bring too much pressure. We see a fast lair coming from Closed. He doesn't have too much gas at this point to really support any lair tech, only has two drones on this one extractor. You can actually see that now that the patch is out, so you can see the current harvesters is two, the other one does have three, and looks like he's getting up two more gas, so he will soon be on four gas. 
So I imagine we may be seeing some mutilists uh, could perhaps go off of hydro or go off two gas for hydras and roaches. And again, mutiling very strong in the ZVP matchup. And we'll see how Mistborn is able to take it on. He does have the cybernetics core complete, but I'm really concerned he only has a well, second gateway now on the way. Again, no units, really needs to be creating some sort of units. If anything, maybe just a sentry to try to wall off with a force field at his front door. And now we see Close getting up and running on these gas. And again, needs to get these gas fully saturated. He is now getting up Hydras, so very interesting tech choice. He does not have very good spread on his creep quite yet. He's not put down any tumors, and the Hydras are going to be tough to move around this large map without creep. One thing he could do is because of these two players are both in the southern position, their bases are connected by those destructible rocks, so he could uh, bring a number of overlords between the two bases, have them start spewing creep, and then uh, make a quick creep highway over to his opponent's base, take down the rocks, and maybe make it in there in time. Uh, or before any sort of Mistborn units can come out. Mistborn adding a number of gateways now, will soon be on five gates and a stargate, and if we check the income of both players, very even, 38 to 41. And again, the uh, the mineral and the gas, pretty even as well. Let's see if closed finally got an extra harvester on the gas. He did not, but doing a decent job macroing up. Energy on the queen is not too high. 10 extra energy or so at this point. Uh, not a huge deal about 8 minutes into the game. Very low on his other queen as well. Actually gets like a third queen, and he's going to start that creep spread. So perhaps wants to get a creep tumor in his main as well, and start that highway across the way. If we check the army tab, it is 850 to 275, so Mistborn going for a very minimalist strategy at this point. Uh, just has those two cannons at the front of his base, and now here come the warp gates, so he'll soon be able to macro up quite hard off those warp gates. A, a, uh, a phoenix coming out of the stargate, and it looks like another stargate being added, as well as a robotics facility. So off of two bases, he can support a lot of these buildings, but at this point, I'm still very concerned. He does not have much of an army as closed, taking down these destructible rocks. He will soon be in the Protoss base. Mistborn really needs to start warping us some units here. As he does see these rocks go down, I believe, he does have a pylon here, and now warping in more and more, perhaps going to be getting some force fields. Guardian shields going up right now could also be very good against those Hydralists. They do a lot of range damage. And now if we check the... Uh, the production tab, we have more and more Hydras coming in for close. He's going to be in the back door, maybe taking down the Cybernetics Core. We're going to stop any sort of Stalkers and Sentries from coming out. And he does have an Overseer here, just in case his opponent has anything cloaked. The Phoenix is going to be taking down that Overseer, but it looks like the Phoenix is getting a little bit too close into their Hydras. A nice pickup. He's going to prevent a little bit of damage done by those Hydras. Without the creep, remember these Hydras are moving very slow, but they just tear up these Gateway units. Mistborn really needs to get up a, uh, a Void Ray or two, and now we see the Hydras numbers just multiplying like Zerg likes to do. Uh, the close positions in the southern point here for both players, making it a very short distance to reinforce this attack and we'll see what Mistborn's able to do trying to chrono boost out these uh, warp gates but it looks like he just has zealots that can take on these hydralists and close then uh, Mistborn talking a little bit here as it looks like Mistborn will go down so closed able to take this one perhaps but Mistborn just did not macro up very hard uh, he did not didn't have much scouting he didn't know that which lair tech his opponent was going for he did have that pile on there but uh, had no observers and no uh, no watchtowers or anything. So the timing of close attack here just really pushed forward with these very strong hydralists. And uh, yeah, it looks like Mistborn now finally going to go down. So I like the initial build here for Mistborn. He got his economy up and running very quickly. But like most players uh, at this level have a little bit trouble with their macro. And that's what separates the, the great players, the Masters League's players from the uh, the Diamond League at this point. So a decent one, first game cast from an SC Reddit uh, chat channel. I encourage you to check out Reddit, reddit.com slash r slash uh, StarCraft is the community and a really fun place to uh, to check out games uh, and lots of threads and, and StarCraft news as well. Sort of like Team Liquid, but it's mostly just links, upvotes, downvotes, and uh, hopefully getting more involved with the community here and streaming some more games, some 1v1 games I can find out of the, uh, the channel here. So thanks for watching this one. Take care.